Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to delve into the fascinating world of extremes, exploring the tallest and shortest individuals in human history. The distribution of human height follows a bell-shaped curve where most people have an average height and only a few individuals have extreme heights. Genetics, nutrition, healthcare, and environment are crucial in determining height. The average height for adults varies by ethnicity and region but is generally around 5 feet 7 inches 170 centimeters for males and 5 feet 3 inches 160 centimeters for females. Over the past few centuries, the average human height has increased globally with rates of 10 to 30 mm per decade, known as the secular trend in height. Still, there is a wide range of heights within any population, which is influenced by genetic and environmental factors. Artists have long been intrigued by the unique characteristics of dwarfs and giants. These individuals of varying heights have been depicted in various artistic forms, contributing to the rich diversity of the art world. Let's begin with discussing the larger-than-life figures. Goliath, a Philistine warrior, is recognized for his immense size and strength. Although his exact height is not mentioned in the biblical texts, he is often portrayed as a giant, with some interpretations indicating he was more than nine feet tall. In the Hebrew Bible, another important character known as Og is mentioned. He is said to be the final member of the Rephates, a tribe of giants who lived in Canaan. Og is believed to have ruled over the kingdom of Bashan, and he was known for his exceptional height. His bed was made of iron and was around 13 to 15 feet long. In Irish mythology, Finn McCool is a legendary hero renowned for his impressive size and strength. As per the legend, he constructed the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland to create a path to Scotland to fight another giant named Ben and Donner. Did you know that gigantism, although rare, is a medical condition caused by a benign tumor in the pituitary gland? It results in excessive growth and height due to the overproduction of growth hormones in childhood and adolescence before the growth plates in the bones have closed. Notably, individuals with gigantism often experience multiple health issues related to their circulatory and skeletal systems. This is because their bodies are under constant strain due to their large size which puts undue pressure on their bones and heart. Charles Byrne, also known as the Irish Giant, was an extraordinary height man who lived in the 18th century and is one of the most famous examples of gigantism in history. Unfortunately, his health declined sharply in his 22nd year, and he died on the 1st of June, 1783. Burns' 8 feet 4 in or 2.54 meters tall skeleton was purchased in 1799 by the Hunterian Museum at the Royal College of Surgeons in London, where it was displayed for nearly two centuries. Robert Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant, was born in 1918 in Alton, Illinois, USA. He is perhaps the most famous giant in modern history. By the time of his death at age 22, Wadlow had reached a staggering height of 8 feet 11 inches, 272 centimeters. His extraordinary height was due to hyperplasia of his pituitary gland. Despite his health challenges, he became a celebrity during his lifetime endorsing products for various companies. Sadly, an infection caused by a poorly fitted leg brace led to Wadlow's untimely death. He passed away in his sleep at a hotel in Manistee, Michigan, while on a promotional tour with the International Shoe Company. Another notable figure is John Rogan, born in 1868 and stood 8 feet 9 inches, 267 centimeters. His remarkable stature earned him the title of the second tallest person in recorded history. These towering individuals left an indelible mark on history. But let's shift our focus to those on the opposite end of the spectrum. Notably, there have been individuals of short stature who gained fame or recognition for various reasons. While the term dwarf can be considered outdated or even offensive in some contexts, it has been used to describe people with conditions resulting in short stature, such as achondroplasia or primordial dwarfism. Geoffrey Hudson, also known as Lord Minimus, was an English court dwarf who gained fame during the reign of King Charles I and later served at the court of Queen Henrietta Maria. He was known for his small stature and was often presented as a curiosity at royal events. Charles Sherwood Stratton, known professionally as General Tom Thumb, was an American entertainer who gained international fame as a dwarf performer. Showman P.T. Barnum discovered him and made him one of the most popular attractions in Barnum's circus. 
Tom Thumb toured extensively in the United States and Europe, performing for royalty and dignitaries. There were attempts to analyze scientifically various documented cases of dwarfism and gigantism. Interesting research published in the Journal of the Royal Society of Medicine examined these cases in historical picture postcards. The study explored a collection of 893 postcards, dating from 1900 to 1935, that depicted dwarfs and giants. The medical and psychosocial aspects of the conditions were analyzed. Some of the disorders shown in the postcards, such as bird-headed dwarfism, achondroplasia, cretinism, Aztecs or pinheads, grebe chondrodysplasia, and acromegalic gigantism, were easily diagnosed. Notably, the most depicted conditions were pituitary dwarfism and achondroplasia. Pituitary gigantism and acromegaly were the most prevalent forms of gigantism. Surprisingly, some of the disorders were found to have a hereditary basis, as evidenced by the presence of affected siblings or parents and their children. But what about more recent and well-documented history? Chandra Bahadur Dangi was the shortest adult human ever recorded, standing at just 21.5 inches, 54.6 centimeters. He was born in Nepal into a family of farmers and suffered from primordial dwarfism. Despite his small size, Dangi was known for being cheerful and sociable. However, he faced several challenges due to his condition, including difficulty in performing simple tasks and health problems. Nevertheless, Dongi remained determined and positive throughout his life. To conclude, I have to say that despite their different stature, giants and dwarfs made a big impact on the world around them, challenging perceptions and inspiring others. And as we reflect on the lives of these extraordinary individuals, it's important to recognize the diversity of the human experience. Whether tall or short, each person has a story worth telling and lessons to impart. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the tallest and shortest people in human history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay curious.